for 2.4 was uh, system management mode. This is required to implement Secure Boot in virtual machine. So we had to improve the implementation, do some extensions for new chipsets and integrate it with KVM. And KVM inside of the system management mode is going to be in Linux 4.2. And for 2.5, uh, the main thing that I would like to work on is just some um, infrastructure improvements for uh, multi-threading. Um, this is important for uh, multi-core emulation performance and also for uh, SCSI performance with very fast disks such as SSDs. Hi, my name is Alberto Garcia. I work for Igalia and I'm working in the block layer of QMU. I've been working on a new feature for the 2.4 release and uh, it consists of the following. Uh, at the moment, QMU can apply limits to an I.O. in a disk image. But with the new feature, you can, what you can do is apply uh, the same limits but to a group of disks so that the, it applies to the combined I.O. of the, whole, uh, the disk together. For the 2.5 release, uh, we can expect to have the new possibility to have a dynamic uh, L2 cache for the QCode 2 files. So the, we can have a we can set up a maximum cache size that is suitable for uh, very big images. So we can have a good I/O uh, performance, but at the same time, that cache will be reduced when the disks are disks are not being used. In real time, 2.4, I worked on uh, improving the event loops. We already cleaned up the dev subsystem in, pre in preparation of uh, future work to enable the info system call, uh, to further improve the event loop efficiency. Uh, in 2.5, I hope we can complete the full conver conversion and uh, achieve a better performance in both the main thread and our new data plane thread. That's about it. Uh, Jeff Cody, um, a uh, uh, software engineer with Red Hat, and um, in 2.4 I'm a sub-maintainer for the uh, block layer uh, covering um, block jobs and uh, some of the uh, network protocols. In uh, 2.4 um, my main focus was on bug fixes and, uh, and not so much on uh, new features uh, and uh, doing uh, maintainership roles. Up in 2.5, uh, we're going to have um, op blockers, which will uh, provide job safety over block jobs and uh, finer granularity to allow um, jobs to run uh, with more parallelism. And uh, also, being investigated for 2.5 is uh, 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 improved uh, safety for block commits um, and uh, maintaining. Consistency of uh, overlays of the base images. Quest, I work. I am the X86 maintainer on QEMU, and I'm going to talk about the new stuff we have in QEMU on the X86 code. So we don't have so many user visible stuff uh, today. Uh, we have some bug fixes on the CPU modules. Uh, to make sure it reflects real hardware more precisely and that should help people that are trying to run with Windows 10 under QMO. I don't know if you can really run it but it makes it easier and uh, solve some issues. In addi addition to that we have too many changes on the internals uh, that means code cleanups to make sure uh, and design decisions to make sure we are going to on the right uh, direction about describing and configuring CPU models and machine types in Libvirt and QMO to make sure migration work work as expected uh, and other things are, are important for Libvirt and other projects that use Libvirt. And that's it. Thanks, Graf. Uh, I'm a KVM developer for whew, around seven, eight years now. I've been involved in QMU, KVM ever since back then, really. Um, it's, 
I've worked on a lot of funny things like uh, nested virtualization, Mac OS X in, in KVM, a lot of other things. Um, for 2.4, however, um, we have basically, you know, I, I, was, I was mostly involved in two really big new things we were doing. The first is um, we now have emulation of mainframes with the CCW type, which is a very much more streamlined mainframe way of doing things. Um, in QMU, so you can now take, say, a SLAS 11 distribution and just run it on your mainframe, emulate it in QMU on x86. Um, the other thing is uh, Mac OS X and PowerPC. There were a couple of bug fixes, so 2.4 is going to be a lot more stable if you're running Mac OS 10.2, for example, on an emulated machine in QMU, and on PowerPC on x86 or on whatever other platform you happen to have. Um, for 2.5, however, um, the main thing that's really in the pipeline there for us now um, on the mainframe side is going to be uh, that uh, we are most likely getting support for the new CPU types, which means you can also take a newer distribution like SLES 12, for example, and run it on that emulated machine. And on the power side, for at least from, from the Mac emulation side, there's going to be initial merges of uh, code to run Mac OS 9 as the guest on those machines. So lots of Mac stuff, lots of mainframe stuff, and I'm pretty sure there's a lot of other things going on that I'm not aware of. Intela and together with Namisa, we are the maintainers of migration for QMU. Uh, now I am going to tell you the new future of, uh, of migration of QMU to 2.4. We have several things that have improved uh, for robot sternness, like we now have better definition of the section that enter into the say, into the migration stream. We have a lot of RDMA features. We have, we test that the machine type of the source of the destination are the same, and a lot of other small changes. Now, in the visible things that the user is going to see, we have multi-thread compression, allowing to use several BCPUs uh, to compress data, and we also have migration events. Until now, to know if operation has ended, uh, Limbert or any user have to pull. Uh, to pull QMU if some operation have changed. Right now we generate the event, so this polling is not needed and operationally detected faster. Now the new things that we have for 2.5 and uh, later. We are going to do that, improve the auto -conver uh, converge. There is one way to try to uh, reduce the speed of the gas to improve conversion. We are also going to add post copy, that is another way to do migration that for big loads and big amounts of memory is the only solution to get a migration when it is not converging. We are going to move this is more for developers to multiply up this so we can use all the bandwidth of for 10 gigabit and 40 gigabit Ethernet. We also have people working on fault tolerance in column and we are going to move also to uh, be able to support several page size you know, on the migration stream. Thank you very much. I'll see you in 2.5. Marcel Apfelbaum and I'm working on mainly on PCI subsystem of QEMU. My main contribution for QEMU 2.4 is a new cool PCI expander device that creates a, a new PCI host bridge on the guest, allowing password devices to be attached to the optimal guest NUMA node. For 2.5, I'm planning a new Virtio IP over IP device that enables the clients to uh, use the IP over IP stack without having a full-blown infiniband device. That's all, folks. Uh, I'm the maintainer of the target of uh, Trico target. Uh, the Trico is a processor mostly used in cars and uh, aeroplanes, and it's designed for real-time operating systems. In 2.4, I finished the instruction set, so the newest version of the instruction set uh, of the so-called Oryx is in, and it should, it's most, it's, it's done. 
um, and for 2.5, I'm looking forward to implementing all the device models. For example, um, the system control unit, which is essential to any operating system. And this includes watchdog timers, um, clock controlling units, and obviously the system timer, which is needed. And that's quite a lot of work, and probably I won't get everything into 2.5, but a good start would be the watchdog timer. Hi, I'm Stefan Heinertzi, and I'm one of the block maintainers in QME. In QME 2.4, uh, we had performance improvements to the QCOW2, uh, Parallels, and iSCSI block drivers. Uh, the block mirror command was also extended uh, to support sparse files better, and um, the incremental backup uh, commands were added and are expected to be completed in QME 2.5. When it will be possible to take backups of only the dirty blocks that have changed in the disk image instead of taking full backups, saving a lot of space.